he's gonna move over right into the open from our view when we get on this ridge. Yeah. He's going down now. He's going down. So, it's 3.45. We got the bull that we've been looking for, spotted. Uh, he's in some, we had him at 750 yards. We want to get him in a little closer before we have my dad take the shot. So, we're just kind of waiting him out. He's in and out of pine, thick pine trees. So. He's gone into thick stuff now. I don't know if that's the same one though, it looks a little smaller. Oh, he stopped, he stopped, he stopped, he stopped. <laughs> No. Are we on it? They're stopped. He's looking over at us. I didn't see the bullet land anywhere there. Did I hit him? No. You got the cows right. Oh, he's in the cows now. Hang on, hang on. Okay, he stopped. It looked like he got it in the back a little bit. Yep. Dad, Dad, just above the Quakies. He's about three, 350 yards. And that's, that's the one we were looking at earlier. That's the one that came viewing out of the trees. Bull goes down. Like five seconds later, Eric crests up. Like we're like, in the back. Eric, get, get, Eric, get down. And Eric had a cow tag in his pocket. And, you know, sure enough, this five by five, he was a, definitely a herd bull, but he was only a five by five. He comes across with like 10 cows or more. There's another bull herding his cows up higher in that chute, and they just all fed down over here. That one on top is at 3 MOA. Mm -hmm. That the one at the very top. Coming over? Yep. Yeah. Ready? Shoot. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Here's one again. That's a hit. My dad just whacked a bull. Cows fed up and I whacked her, so. We got two elk down. I don't know how smart that was, but. We're gonna have our work cut out for us. We still gotta it make sure like this bull's down. The the two bulls went in there and they're getting mixed up right now, so we wanna make sure that it's the right bull so we don't kill two bulls. And we'd, that'd, be, that'd be bad. So we're just gonna let them sort out and figure out what's going on here. Dad, grab my binoculars back there somewhere, right there, so I can see what's High going five, on. Dad. See if any of those There's are limping. Where? So that, the bull's right behind him. His bull? No, just the bull. You see him limping. Yeah. No, he's just walking. So that means it's going to lay down at the bottom. It had to have been down. You sure dad's as big as that one? Yeah, they're about the same size. Dad shot his first ever bull elk. Um, it's a little bit of a younger bull, but I mean, we're excited for him. You know, um, he's waited his whole life, never had an opportunity to bull elk. Well, he has, but he hasn't connected in his younger days, and hasn't he hasn't been able to hunt the last I don't know 
10 to 20 years due to my mom's death and some health issues. So this is a big opportunity for him. So I'm happy for him, you know? Oh yeah, pork horn on the other side. At least he died belly up so we can clean him. My dad made a great shot on it. Um, he's kind of a freak. He's a cool boy. He's a six on one. And then he's like a he's like a two with a nub on the other. <laughs> I feel like this is the last bull I'll ever get. <laughs> Pretty worn out. Proud of my hike. Proud of my preparation. Thank my good friend Mark Miller for get me in shape so that I could do this and I'm totally grateful for my two boys for it. That's an awesome bull. I'm so happy. You know we get to see a lot of a lot of different bulls that come through and you just don't see a cool character like this very often. And for my dad's first bull elk ever, I mean you can't ask for much better. That's so cool. And look how look how tall this front tine is. I mean, that's so cool. Yeah, look how cool that is. <laughs> Get a long shot on it. He's bleeding out the mouth. There. The area that we're in has tons and tons of elk. There's not a lot of big elk. No. This is just the nature of the area that we're hunting. But uh, right. there was a five point that came out after him. He wasn't much bigger than this. I can tell you that. I mean, we got, we got one of the only six points on the on the in this area, which is really cool. Andy's a freak. <laughs> you gotta do it for me. Well, we'll get you started. We'll spell. We'll take, I'll take shift. Where do you want to start? I don't know. I don't know where to start. I never cut a bull apart. I've Same all, as a deer. I've only cleaned it. It's going on the bull elk's antlers. This is the freaking 200 grain Hornady PLDX. This, this thing is just amazing. Didn't go past through, stayed in the animal. You can't ask for anything better out of a bullet. It's awesome. We got lucky, we had a good Samaritan. Wolfen Hume here, just happened to be coming down the road. <laughs> we got freaking, let's see, six quarters right there in back straps. So, anyway, we're gonna go down. Right on. Jump on.